Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a requested video. You guys have been asking me a lot. So many of you asked me weekly to do this video and it is testing W7 makeup. I have used one W7 product before, no two, sorry I tell a lie. And it was this palette, uh, I've never used it on camera so I'm gonna use it today, and the one that looks like the Naked 3. I can't remember what that was called, in the nude or something. I'm going to use that palette today because I just have it. I ordered a big box of W7 and I ordered it from Cara Pharmacy. If you're wondering, I will link Cara Pharmacy down below. Not sponsored by Cara Pharmacy or W7, I just, that's where I bought it. So I'm letting you guys know. I think I got something for every part of the face. If I'm missing something, forgive me. It's very hard to actually get W7. I know they used to sell it a lot in tons of different pharmacies, but they don't seem to carry it anymore. I don't know, maybe I'm just not looking in the right pharmacies. Lip products were the worst to get hold of. They only had one kind of lip product on their website. So I'm gonna put my trusty cat ears on and let's get stuck into the video. Okay, so one of these is a fixer face spray. Okay, that will leave that last because that will be the end product. And this one is the Prime Magic Face Primer Camera Ready. This looks very like the NYX one that I have and very like the Smashbox one. So I'm gonna place, ooh. <laughs> so I'm gonna place some of this on my fingers and blend it into my skin. Yeah, it's so like it. So it's a silicone based primer and it feels exactly like the Smashbox one, exactly like that NYX one that I am loving these days. Well, that was a find and a half. I love when you find things like that. Yeah. Obviously next I'm gonna move on to foundation and I'm gonna take the HD foundation and I got the color natural tan i think this is the darkest color that they had 12 hour foundation apparently i've never used this foundation before naturally this is what it looks like it comes with a pump and hopefully the color matches me this is always the worst bit buying online i'm gonna take this on my beauty blender and see i think the color is okay i'm very unsure like about foundations when you first try them you know the way like when they go on your skin nice and then after with an hour it looks like a ratchet hot mess but this is looking okay. The color is just the taddest bit off. I would say that this foundation is a little bit pink. Like it has pink undertones in it. I have no idea what my undertones on my skin are. I've been told they were yellow, I've been told they were neutral. I think that's the best I'm gonna get with the foundation and it's not too bad. It's medium coverage, I would say. I'm actually gonna move on to the eyes next because I always do my foundation, then I do my eyes just if there's any fallout on my face, I can clean it up pretty well. Okay, I didn't get an eye primer, so I'm gonna use my Paint Early Paint Pot. I don't think they had an eye primer on the site. So apply that to my lid lid with my ring finger. So I'm gonna take this kind of purpley color. So I'm gonna blend out the edges of that. It's actually quite a nice purpley brown color. I like it a lot. Oh, and if you're expecting the most amazing eye look ever, you'll be sadly disappointed because this is just testing. I'm gonna take this color here. I'm gonna apply that into the inner portion of my eye. I'm gonna go in with this kind of silvery shadow here and put that in the center part of my eye. I hate to do this because I feel like I'm cheating, but I'm gonna put some Fix Plus onto my brush, kind of make that silvery shadow pop. And that's working a little bit better. Now I'm gonna go in with this kind of gray charcoal-y kind of color. I like this. And I'm gonna apply that on the outer V of my eye just to create a bit of depth. Again, this might possibly need some Fix Plus. I'm using a big fluffy brush because I don't want it like really densely packed on. I want a kind of fluffy, smoky outer corner. Okay, now once you build it up, it's not too, too bad. Yeah, it's coming up okay, but I don't know if you can see that. There's a lot of fallout on my face. Not too bad though, the shadows are not 
the worst I've ever used. Now I'm gonna go in with the black and I'm just gonna create like a more depth to that outer V area. I'm just gonna trace it. Ooh, the black is quite pigmented actually. I'm gonna trace it along with my brush and kind of feather it in a little bit. I'm gonna blend it. That black is actually quite nice. I like it, it's pigmented. Now I'm gonna go in with this shade here, which is just a matte kind of yellowy shade. I'm just gonna apply that underneath my brow bone. Now I picked up this gel liner as well. I'm only gonna do a little bit of it, not gel, liquid. I'm only gonna do a little bit of it. That liquid liner is not bad, I actually quite like it. I know we're not at the end of the video, but can I just say something? <laughs> I hate this foundation. I really, 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 really don't like this foundation. Every single imperfection I have, it's just showing it up. I don't even have dry skin and it's clinging to dry skin. I have to do something, maybe with concealer or something, maybe try and fix it. Ugh. I'm gonna open my brow product. Mm. This is called the Twist and Shape. Okay, I finally got into the product. And it comes with, ooh, kind of like an angled liner. I don't know if you can see that. They didn't have much of a selection to go on and I can't remember what color. Oh, I got dark brown. Definitely not gonna match me, but we'll see. Ooh. Hmm, I don't mind that brow product. It's actually not bad. Ah, there's a spoolie on this end. I think it's good that everything is very affordable. I will say actually when I bought everything, the total cost came to 50 euro there thereabouts, like 51 or 52 euro for a full face of makeup. I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna move on to my concealer, I'm taking the Skin Fresh Concealer in the color Fair. They only had two shades, I wasn't sure what to get. I applied this too underneath my eyes. Oh God. <laughs> Oh my, concealer is too light for sure. And also I'm applying way too much of it. And I also didn't realize until somebody told me yesterday that they also have tools, W7. So they have brushes and they have sponges. There wasn't anything like that on Cara Pharmacy when I actually went to purchase these products. The concealer is super full covered. I actually quite like that concealer. It's very light, it's way too light. It's not cakey, it's not heavy, but it's full covered as well at the same time. Now on the site they had Banana Dreams Loose Powder. Now I don't know whether to set my face with this or my under eyes. It's kind of looking like a banana shade. So maybe I might just set my under eye area with it. Air area with it, because it might take down some of this extremely luminescent under eye area I'm sporting right now. This might be another product I quite like. I don't think I'm picking up enough. There's nothing coming into my under eye area. Oh, there you go. Not a very pigmented powder, but that's okay. I'm needing to use an awful lot of product though, I feel, to set my under eye area. Okay, I'm cheating again. I searched high and low on the Cara Pharmacy website. I checked online, I checked on eBay, and they don't have any setting powders from W7, so I'm just taking my Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder. Sorry about that, guys. I hate doing that when you're doing a full face and you have to use other products, but other than the eyeshadow base and the setting powder, I think I've gotten a full face. Now I'm just gonna go back into that palette and I'm gonna take this dark brown again, or the purpley brown, and just apply that under my lower lash line, the whole way under just to kind of tie the entire look together. I think it looks funny when your under eye area is not, there's no shadow there, I mean. I'm also gonna take the black as well and just place it on the extreme outer corners of my lower lash line. I quite like the eyes actually. I think the eye makeup is one of my favorite parts so far, other than the brows. The brows are nice as well. I definitely think one of my brows is darker than the other though. I'm taking the Absolute Lashes, which looks like the Benefit They're Real Lashes, which I think is kind of cool. This looks like a nice mascara. I can only use it on my lower lash line, obviously, or my lower lashes, rather, because I have extensions. Yeah, it's kind of scratchy. <laughs> very, very scratchy on my eyeball. Definitely not my favorite mascara I've ever used. Extremely scratchy on the eyes. You just have to be careful with it. Okay, I'm gonna contour and highlight. I picked up two of these contour 
powders by mistake I'm gonna use one and I'm gonna give away another one on my Instagram or a snapchat keep an eye on both of those I don't know which one yet <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with the bronze and glow which reminds me of the Charlotte Til Tilbury contour powders but I also have this palette here which is the glow for glory which looks like it could be nice for blusher so I'm going to bronze with this because it's not technically a contour powder because it's slightly shimmery. I have the Honolulu. This is their box contouring product. The name sounds very like Hula from Benefit. And like I said, it is kind of shimmery, so I don't want to, ooh, you really gotta work the product up there. Okay, we'll see. It's not the most pigmented product I've ever used, but it's not bad. Okay, it's definitely glowy. <laughs> there is slight little specks of shimmer in it, so at least I just use it as a bronzer, not a contour powder. I'm going to contour now with Honolulu. Oh, it comes with a little brush as well, and that's what it looks like. Okay, my Hula bronzer is there, obviously, and this is the Honolulu, so it's definitely a little bit more of an orangey brown shade than the cool tone that you get with Hula. So I'm gonna use a little bronzer blush brush. I'm gonna use a bronzing brush. Oh god. Oh, this is pigmented. Oh, be careful with this. Oh, jeepers. I'm going a bit too. Okay, <laughs> let's pull it back. I think I'll stick with my Eta brush. I'm kind of scaring myself. Bronze around. I feel like I'm making myself look really orange. Okay, that's enough of that. Let's put that away. I'm gonna move on to blush and I'm gonna take this color here, I think. Probably an illuminating product, but it looks like it could be a blusher, so that's what I'm gonna use it for. Not super pigmented, but yeah, probably is a highlighter. <laughs> oh God, we're making lots of mistakes today. Highlight my face. I'm gonna go in with this palette again, the Hollywood Bronze and Glow, and I'm gonna take the highlighting side from that and just highlight my face with it. Okay, I think it's safe to say that my face is pretty highlighted right now because my cheeks are glowing. Oh, I also got a eyeliner pencil. This is the, what's it called? Magic Gel Eyeliner. Okay, so I'm gonna put that in my waterline actually while I think of it here. bad it's not the most pigmented but it definitely does the job I actually don't mind it and it was only one euro as well finally I've got a lipstick and I've no lip liner it's gonna have to apply that oh it's kind of cute actually I'm gonna apply that straight onto my lips mm, it has a nice scent this is like a peachy shade that is the completed makeup look Ugh. Again, it wasn't a makeup look, it was just testing the products. Ooh, my hair is hot mess. I just could kind of only go with what makeup I had. I don't particularly like the makeup, let's just say that. The eyes are fine, they're grand. Lip, no, it's the wrong shade for me. I should've went with a really, really deep, dark lip, but obviously they didn't have, they only could, I could only use what they had. Oh, actually, before I, before I do my review, <laughs> I'm just going to spritz this on my face. This is the W7, W7. W7, the fixing face through. Oh. Oh, it's intense. I absolutely detest the foundation. I hate, hate the foundation. It looks orange on my skin. It's like a pinky orange. It's the weirdest thing ever. It's not nice. I don't like it. I'm not keen on the mascara. It's a bit too scratchy for me. I don't like those plastic ones. That's just my preference. If you do like them, then you might love that mascara. The other thing that I wasn't sure about was this palette. I like the highlighting side. The bronzing side is a bit funny. Like it's it's like shimmery, I don't know. Like I don't really like shimmery bronzers. That's just me, again, my preference. If you love shimmery bronzers, then you might 
love this. This palette is obviously a highlighting palette and I messed up because I used this as a blush. I didn't buy a blush. I actually thought when I saw this online that they were blushers, but they're not, clearly. And the final thing I'm not too keen on on me, but I think it would be lovely on other people because it's actually matte, is their Kiss Proof lipstick. It just doesn't look nice on me because the color is not my color at all. Okay, what did I like? I actually quite liked the banana powder. It set my under eye areas, it brightened them up, it's not cakey, it's not making them crease or anything like that. I quite liked the concealer as well. I thought the concealer was pretty good. Oh, I loved the brow products. I just actually have to get my proper shade. But the brow product was amazing for like two year old. And I loved the primer. The primer was actually amazing. So yeah. Oh, and I did like the liquid liner as well. I thought that was quite good. Thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you all in my next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, there was a couple of hidden gems in there and, and that some were just a miss for me. But I really, really like using affordable products and I hope you guys like finding affordable products. And yeah, let me know if you've tried any W7 products that maybe I didn't feature in this video. Maybe I should. Let me know what they are and I will talk to you all in my next video. I love you guys. Mwah. Bye!